There are some animals that are obviously dangerous. If it's got long teeth or big, muscly arms, you know it's not to be messed with. But not all of the world's dangerous animals are the ones you'd expect. These are some of the most surprisingly dangerous animals in the world. Number 15, Elephants. You can see why elephants are considered one of the most surprisingly dangerous animals in the world. I mean, imagine that sitting on you. That's if you had time to imagine that. This animal weighs upwards of 10,000 pounds, so it could pretty much swat you like a fly. They are often seen as incredibly graceful and caring creatures. In fact, many people consider them quite trustworthy, but it should not be forgotten that they are enormous. They are also smart and have a lifespan of up to 60 years. There are several that have lived even longer. Surprisingly, given their appearance, many cognitive characteristics of an elephant are compared to those of humans. Like us, they live in groups, eat, drink, and nurture their children into their teenage years. It is their power and size that is truly outstanding, however. In the teakwood forests of India, they treat thousand-pound logs like twigs snapping them in two without a care in the world. These creatures are majestic, and we travel near and far to see them, but there has been the occasional attack. These have mainly happened in zoos and circuses. A study of elephants found that people are three times more likely to incur a fatality by working with elephants than being a frontline police officer. Worse still, statistics say that at least one elephant a year will kill its handler. Now that's grim reading. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Bears may look nice, fluffy, and cuddly, and statistically, you're not likely to be hurt by one. For example, you're 67 times more likely to be killed by a domestic dog than a bear. You're far more likely to be struck by lightning or killed by a bee sting than killed by a bear. But that doesn't mean they can't be dangerous when they want to be. They're big. They're strong. They've got colossal claws and sharp, strong teeth. In some places, houses have to be built with door knobs rather than door handles because there are bears nearby that are known to open doors with door handles and let themselves in. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now to the next topic. Number 14, Bottlenose Dolphin. This one really has me scratching my head, as I've always thought that these animals were considered one of the most playful and caring creatures on the planet. My warped sense of trust may have come from the many movies and television shows I've watched where they're the hero of the day. I'm seriously gonna have to reconsider. Yes, the bottlenose dolphin is a surprisingly dangerous animal. Portrayed to be a protector of the ocean, these mammals have the ability to cause serious injury. Their sharp teeth can pierce the skin of its prey with ease, ripping flesh from the bone in a matter of seconds. This specific species has between 80 and 100 teeth that they use to chew, grab, grip, and secure any prey. On occasion, the bottlenose dolphin has bitten humans. They are carnivores, after all. Officials at the Commerce Department's National Marine Fisheries Service have noted the potential danger of these animals. They regularly send out flyers in high-risk areas, warning and educating swimmers on what lurks beneath them in the deep, dark depths of the ocean. These flyers state that dozens of bites have been reported and people have been pulled underwater by the animals. A case in 2012 saw a bottlenose performing at SeaWorld getting a reputation for all the wrong reasons. Apparently, it bit an eight-year-old girl who was in the water swimming with it. I don't know about you, but having seen these guys in action, it all seems very surprising to me. Number 13, Stingray. Creeping around in shallow, temperate coastal waters, this surprisingly dangerous animal hunts for its prey. 
The Stingray lives its life like it is constantly playing a game of hide and go seek. And guess what? It always wins. These dangerous fish spend a lot of time inactive, partially buried in the sand, only moving with the sea tide. They are long and flat, with a large, sharp spine on the end of their tails. This long, sharp barb can cause some serious damage, even death, as was the case with the now infamous crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin. He was filming in Australia's Great Barrier Reef when a barb pierced his chest in 2006. Victims are incapacitated by the barb, which also produces a fatal venom. This venom is so potent that it can still be deadly long after the stingray is either retreated or died. This animal moves through the water by flapping their sides like a giant bird would with its wings. They appear pretty chill characters, and like most animals, only attack when they are feeling threatened. The largest stingray has been sighted at a whopping 7 feet wide and 4 meters long. Imagine stumbling across that when you're out for a swim. If this entry has left you feeling nervous, then I've done my job. Number 12. Slow Loris this next surprisingly dangerous animal may just be the cutest thing you've ever seen. The slow loris is considered an endangered Asian primate. Over time, it has evolved slightly to survive and now tends to mimic the movements of a venomous snake. What a clever survival technique. With its large eyes, furry face, and tiny grasping hands, these animals are very deceptive. Be warned though, just because it looks cute and friendly doesn't mean that it is. The slow loris has adopted serpentine markings and movements as defense mechanisms, but it also shares the most dangerous traits of the venomous snakes that it mimics. Toxins. This creature is the only known venomous primate. It can secrete toxins from a gland located along the crook of its arms. It uses this toxin when it feels threatened, but first it will hiss and retreat into a defensive posture with its paws clasped on top of its head. In this position, it looks very much like a cobra. The toxin created by the slow loris is dangerous when touched, but this primate holds another secret. It can suck the venom from its armpit and then strike quickly with a venomous bite, just like a snake would. How deceiving. Number 11, Cassowary. The cassowary makes it onto the list of surprisingly dangerous animals found in the world. This large bird looks very similar to its cousin, the emu. The cassowary varies in size and can stand up to 2 meters tall, weigh as much as 60 kilograms, and because of these stats alone, it is stationed on the ground, unable to fly. No surprises there. What a relief. Imagine that huge beast flying towards you. Seriously, it would be duck and run. These birds are native to the tropical forests of New Guinea, East Nusa Tenggara, the Maluku Islands, Southeast Asia, and Australia. With a reputation for aggression, it's not surprising that they make this list. They are noted for having a vivid blue face, two red flaps of skin hanging from their neck, and a hollow helmet on top of their heads. They also have prominent muscular legs. These legs can dish out quite the powerful kick, and if that's not enough, they have a three claw tipped toe on the end of them that is even more dangerous. This claw is located on the cassowary's inner toe and can reach a length of 12 centimeters, so you can imagine the damage it can cause. When threatened, the cassowary will throw anything at whoever is around, using its weaponry, leaping up and striking out with these dagger-like claws. The wounds inflicted can be lethal, so if you come across one in the wild, I suggest you back away slowly. Number 10. Blue Ringed Octopus The next animal on the list of surprisingly dangerous animals of the world has enough venom to kill 26 adult humans within minutes. Yeah, you heard that right. It's hard to believe that a tiny ocean dweller is considered to be one of the most dangerous fish on the planet, but here we are. The blue ringed octopus may be small, but it is also very deadly. Easily recognized by its cream body and its striking blue rings, it resides at the bottom of soft, sandy, shallow tide pools and coral reefs native to the Pacific and Indian Oceans. 
it spends a lot of its time playing a huge game of hide and go seek and is clearly terrified of predators seems harmless enough right unfortunately not in fact when the octopus is attacked it becomes one of the most dangerous creatures in the ocean with venom 1000 times stronger than cyanide this ocean animal is extremely dangerous the venom is transferred through the bite instantly blocking nerve signals throughout the body causing nausea loss of senses and muscle paralysis. This leads to respiratory arrest in humans. The danger is that there is no known antidote. The only way to stop death is immediate artificial respiration. If you're in the ocean, it's important to be aware of what is around you, because the bite of this venomous creature is usually painless, so you may not know it has struck until it is too late. Good thing it's not a land dweller. Number 9. Poison Dart Frog the poison dart frog is another fine example that sometimes the cutest animals are in fact the deadliest this frog is tiny brightly colored and measures only 1.5 inches in length as an adult it is considered one of the most poisonous animals on the planet it belongs to the dendrobotidae family which has over 170 known species these frogs are specific and native to the rainforests between Costa Rica and Brazil. They come in multiple colors, ranging from black, white, red, gold, copper, green, blue, or yellow. These frogs are also amphibian. They tend to live their entire lives near water to keep their skin moist. This aids with their breathing. Their toxin is an alkaloid, which has strong and dangerous effects on humans. The frogs are extremely clever, making their toxin from what they ingest in their diet. This is called diet toxicity hypothesis. What an interesting little creature. Shame it's so dangerous. Number 8. Giant Anteater with poor vision, bad hearing, and no teeth, you wouldn't imagine this animal could possibly be dangerous. And yet, it is. Anteaters can be deadly. In fact, scientists have reported a case in northwestern Brazil where a hunter was brutally attacked and killed by an anteater. Two years after that attack, another man was killed in a similar confrontation with this creature. Perhaps they both got in the way of the anteater and his ants. Who knows? These attacks are rare, and anteaters usually avoid contact with humans, often hiding from them if possible. Experts believe the creature will only attack to serve as a warning to humans looking to encroach on their habitats. The largest of the four living anteater species, giant anteaters, live in savanna-like fields in South America and Central America. They can grow up to seven feet long in adulthood. That is one mighty big anteater. The danger lies in the sharp claws, found on both of their forelimbs. These are capable of inflicting fatal wounds on humans. Number 7. Leopard Seal The next animal that is surprisingly dangerous is the leopard seal. Regarded as quite an inquisitive animal, they are a creature that really should be avoided. In fact, divers should be very wary not to allow themselves to become objects of their curiosity. You don't want one of these big guys swimming over to take a closer look because they're essentially just sizing you up as a potential meal. They mainly live in Antarctic regions where visitors are warned to take extra care. Experts believe that due to the increased number of people in the area, particularly divers, these animals are becoming more and more comfortable around humans. And that is not a good thing. This fact alone essentially gives the leopard seal more opportunities to sink their teeth in. Fortunately, however, attacks on humans are considered rare. The attack on Scottish polar explorer Gareth Wood made headlines, though. He had a lucky escape while walking across a thin layer of ice. The surface erupted beneath him, and the massive head and shoulders of a mature leopard seal appeared. Could you imagine the fright he got? Apparently, the animal's mouth was gaping open in expectation, and it closed its powerful jaws around poor Wood's leg. Ouch! He fell backward, shocked and helpless, but was able to survive to tell the tale. The whole situation sounds horrifying. Number 6. Pufferfish 
Have you ever seen the movie Finding Nemo? Well, there's a fun-loving fish in that movie called Bloat. But Bloat is a puffer fish, and if you haven't heard this before, they are dangerous, particularly when eaten. Bloat, or the puffer fish, is on the list for being a surprisingly dangerous animal. There are more than 120 species of puffer fish living throughout the ocean, so they're probably pretty hard to avoid. The reason they're so dangerous and deadly is that they are extremely poisonous. To put it bluntly, these fish are 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide. That's deadly. The puffer fish contains enough poison in its body to kill at least 30 adult humans. To make matters a whole lot worse, there is no known antidote. So once you've been poisoned, death is inevitable. A puffer fish can be identified by its puffer feature. When it ingests a large quantity of water, it appears larger than it is, sort of like a bird puffing out its chest, hence the name puffer. They are a slow and clumsy fish with a swimming style that makes them vulnerable to predators. Puffer fish are also a delicacy known as fugu in Japan. The dish obviously requires careful preparation or diners will get a whole lot more than they bargained for. It's surprising that so many people take the risk, don't you think? Number 5. Cone Snail Don't let its size deceive you. This small creature makes the list of surprisingly dangerous animals on Earth. The cone snail has had humans scratching their heads for centuries. Their beautiful shells have been utilized as currency, trading, and jewelry in coastal communities ever since they were first discovered. Their colorful pattern has many artists, including Rembrandt, featuring them in a host of sketches and paintings. The snails are a highly sought-after creature, with scientists at the National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, particularly interested in them. They have discovered that although they are a deadly predator, they might also be a medical marvel. After sourcing several of them from the ocean, scientists are seeking to use their poison to help with curing old medical problems. NIST biochemist Frank Mary says that their venom is the same type that was used to kill dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park movies. Although it's scary and very dangerous, it does have the power to be used for good. There are many species of the cone snail, and they all have colorful patterns on their shell. These snails are almost all tropical, and all are venomous and capable of giving a fatal sting to humans. You better watch out. Number 4. Squirrels how on earth is a squirrel even dangerous? Well, it made it onto the list of 15 surprisingly dangerous animals in the world, so it must be. Small and cute, a lot of people don't consider squirrels a dangerous animal. Well, today, I'm telling you that you definitely should. These bushy-tailed rodents are just that, rodents. <laughs> They carry disease and share the same sort of dangers as their relatives, the mouse and the rat. Squirrels contain many diseases that can be passed on to humans. It is therefore integral that if humans encounter a rabid squirrel, they are very careful. You may just catch Lyme disease or even Salmonella. Fortunately, a rabid squirrel is a pretty rare find, but it is important to remember that they are just as dangerous as any other rabid creature. The squirrel can become rabies infected, which makes them highly aggressive. This leads the squirrel to bite potential threats and gives them the ability to spread the rabies disease to humans and their pets. Number 3. Deer Deer and wild buck are not what you would consider friendly, but apparently they are also very dangerous. If seen in the wild, it is suggested that you take a wide berth, because even the younger, smaller deer can pack a punch. They are very strong and unpredictable. Be careful, and no matter the reason, don't get too close. Deer are mostly active in the warmer parts of the year and potentially more dangerous. This fact alone can have a negative effect on any human that has the misfortune of encountering them. They give birth around late March to early June, a time when we need to be extremely careful. Like most mothers with their newborn babies, they are very protective. Their fawns are in hiding or just at heel. This means that the does are particularly protective and become more aggressive during this time period. Everyone should stay clear at this time. 
no matter the circumstance. During mid-November to mid-January, the adult buck comes out to play. At this time, bucks are continually on the move, fighting and reproducing. It is important that you don't get in the way of a buck that's looking to reproduce either. Mating season is a big no-no for obvious reasons. It's safe to say that you should probably approach any deer with extreme caution. Number 2. Swans These beautiful birds are highly unpredictable. They are also dangerous. So dangerous that state wildlife officials have put out a warning to all people living in homes or cottages on lakes or ponds. They've spread the word to watch out for these big, majestic birds during the summer months, suggesting people give them a wide berth. Apparently, leaving them to their own devices is easier than dealing with the consequences. I guess that makes sense. Coming face to face with a swan could result in some serious trouble, especially when they are feeling threatened. These birds can become very aggressive if they feel their young or nests are in danger, and they will stop at nothing to protect them. Swans have reportedly attacked jet ski riders, people in canoes, and even motorboats that came too close. They flap their wings, squawk, and bite, and and with a weight limit reaching up to 30 pounds, they can cause damage, and plenty of it. Number 1. Monkey Attacks by monkeys are extremely rare in the wild, but they are becoming more common with those kept in captivity. The monkey tends to fear humans and often hides or moves away from any person or threat that gets closer than 100 feet. As deforestation carries on and habitats continue to be destroyed, monkeys have started to live in closer proximity to humans. Unsurprisingly, this causes conflict. For one, they are competing for resources. Fortunately, monkeys tend to give you lots of warnings before an actual fight occurs. They will first look you square in the eyes, open their mouth, and bare their teeth. In fact, they can be quite the intimidating figure when provoked. Aggressive monkeys can cause a lot of trouble, and it has been proven in places like Delhi, where these primates have started to warn humans with a grunt. <laughs> After this grunt, they will pretend to lunge toward you, often causing victims to lose their balance as they try and move away. It is at this point that they grab at your knees and legs and put their mouth on you so that you can feel their teeth. If you still don't quite get the hint that there's a problem, then the monkey will sink its sharp canines into you. The bite itself may not break the skin, but the wound could allow transmission of herpes B, which can be fatal to humans. Larger monkeys, like baboons, are considered a greater threat to humans. They are bigger, less predictable, and have a mouth filled with sharp, 3-inch long canine teeth that can definitely cause some damage. There's an old saying that you should never judge a book by its cover, and the saying couldn't be truer here. I mean, some of these animals might appear all sweet and innocent, like the no idea, for example, but underneath, they're essentially a ruthless animal waiting to pounce. It's a crazy old world out there, so it pays to keep your wits about you. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!